Hello everybody and welcome back to Nestarish Gaming. I'm Nestarish and today I'm going to make a quick video of my Merkmeyer run where I can steal, pickpocket, do a little killing if I need to, and hopefully come up with some good recipes. Now, the Merkmeyer, this run is where I got my Merkmeyer recipes. I got the stone wall, I got the ramp, I got a bunch of the dishes and the, the candles and things like that. I will tell you that lately though it seems that uh, the the Zoss has nerfed the drop rate of those because every time I would come here, I would always get at least a rug or tapestry, if not a recipe. But now, it's been a while since I've gotten either. But let me show you where we are to start. We are in Lil Moth, here in the southeast tip of Merkmire. Just come to this way shrine. Now, when you do this run, it helps to have your legerman maxed out and have forced locks maxed out it, it's, you don't need it it just makes it a lot easier if you do that so let's go ahead and start our run you come from the way shrine towards the docks and then you're just going to come around the docks like this the first stop we're going to go to is this little house up here now you got to force your way into that you got to pick the locks and be careful, there is a person inside here. Now, you can pickpocket him if you want. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends. Ooh, blue is nice. But you can do it twice. Pick, pick, stab. That's what I usually do. But I just for the sake of time, I'm just going to pickpocket him once and stab. Then you got a chest, a trunk here. And a lot of times you'll find a little uh, chest right here, too, that you can break into lockpick now what I would suggest when you do this run like me I will only sell the greens the blues and the purples um, when you do this run though you will get white items that don't sell for much now you're gonna want to take those anyways you can destroy them it's no big deal but if you continue to do this circuit that I'm showing you you can run it almost non-stop and if you leave the white stuff alone, you don't take it, it will be there when you go back. So you want to get it out of there and let something better respawn. So this is a good run to make a little bit of gold. It's not the greatest gold in the world, but you make some decent coin. I emptied out all my stolen goods at the fence before I started this, so I'm starting with zero stolen goods. So we'll see how much... Uh, I can make off of this. Now when you when you do pickpocket them, if you're fairly new to this game, what you want to do is pickpocket, pickpocket, and then blade a woam. See those last two items were white and I'm not going to sell those. I'll destroy them, but when I come back, if I want to do another run, whoops, fell down there. You come out the door, come straight down the ramp. Sorry about that. When you want to to do your next run like I said you'll want to empty th everything out so it will respawn and hopefully you'll get better selling items at least greens okay when you come in here oh, there, this one doesn't have a whole lot of spots but you can just run around you got this big trunk right here there is a guard that walks around so I suggest coming to this spot and hiding and then just steal again another white it's more junk then you'll come to this door right here leave and you go straight across this bridge you get to hear some some music wow sadly he's got a better voice than I do let me tell you all right so you come over here and there's a guy that walks around here there he is at the end of that table there is a safe box that you can steal sometimes it pops up sometimes it doesn't you got to be careful with this guy because he will Oh, look, Merc my Rug. The power of complaint compels me. So I finally got one. It's been a while. It's been a drought. Anyways, you got to watch out where he's at because he will walk over to where I am right now and stand there. So you got to get him quick. Then you come over to these little cabinets. And you see I'm getting some decent selling items here. And again, I'm just taking that to show you. I will destroy it, but... Um, just get everything even if you don't sell it and that's what I was talking about he comes right over there and it kind of screws your route up if you're not careful so you just stay hidden and then you got that little cabinet there 
got a wardrobe here. Another 100 plus gold. Uh, that one is only going to be 40 something to sell, but that's all right. Then you come over here and you got to wait for this lady to finish sanding this wood that she's always sanding in. It never gets smaller. But just hang out here. You watch her. When she turns and walks away, um, then you can go ahead and steal from this cabinet right here. Which it looks like she's not about to do. Uh, she got me on that one. I want to know how she's making some uh, sanding that thing when she's not even touching it. So this run doesn't take very long. This is the longest part you'll really have to wait is waiting for her. And you could even bypass this cabinet if you really want to. I don't want to. I like to try to get everything because I can either sell it or I have uh, a new furniture, furnishing piece, that rug I just got. You can come over here to this cabinet. Now somebody's gotten it already. Then you go out this door to the right of that cabinet. Now if you run across here, jump down here, safe box. Now this one takes forever to respawn. I have noticed that. And this is where you're really going to want force locks. Because this next little section, this and there's one other section where there are a bunch of safe boxes. And it, you just want to get in and out as quickly as possible. So you come here, that's where the blacksmith is. You're going to just shoot right down here. Come right up this ramp into the counting house. Their bank. You're going to just come around here. There is a guard who's either there or right here. He, he walks back and forth, but they won't find you. If you stay hidden, get right next to the cabinet. Try not to jump like that. And boom. Just run over here, and there's another one over here. Like I said, if you stay hidden and stay behind the cabinet, you, you'll be fine. Just run out this door, if I can get to a door. Wow. Maybe I shouldn't be making this video today. I can't even run. All right, then you're going to come right over here. Have you heard that this ramp. Coming up to the lusty Argonian footman. My kind of bar is as if it was a foot woman. Now this is a funny part. Here's another part that may may make you slow down a little bit because this drunk guy detects you. He detects you and you can't do anything. But there's a safe box there and a backpack there. So once he walks away, if you crouch down, you stay behind. <laughs> I'm sorry, this makes me laugh every time. She's right there, but if you stay behind this pole. You stay hidden. And she having to walk away too. Cool. And you just come in here. And again, I can't stress enough. Look at that. Some gold there. I can't stress enough to have four blocks maxed out on this. Because it just makes your life a whole lot easier. Then you're going to come here. You're going to pass that door. And you're going to come out this door. You run. This brings you to this courthouse. And this is where there's usually a lot of safe boxes. That guy right there is annoying because he walks back and forth and he catches me more times than I want. It really sucks. So you got to be careful of him. But once he leaves, after he's finished admiring that anvil, you can just do your you can do your stealing. Look at that, another blue and some gold. Thank you. Then you're gonna run over here. Hide right back in this corner. Yeah, well, you're not me. And then it's just wash, rinse, repeat. Nice. Making a little bit of gold, which is nice because it's the luxury vendor time. And here's another one. Just sit behind this lady. Now watch out. She will turn around like that. She can see you. You just gotta wait a minute. She doesn't stay there very long. Now I have tried getting behind this little uh, divider, and it doesn't help. You can't get to the safe box for whatever reason. Wow. Good thing I have a lot of lock picks, and I am maxed out on my force lock. 
But you see, it's worth it. Steal from the backpack. And again, pick up all the whites because you want to get rid of the junk. Now, this somebody's already been here, but you go to this uh, this wardrobe too, and you can get stuff. There's no safe box here. But then you come over here, another safe box. Just get right back here. And he can be standing there looking at you, and he won't see you. And just reach under the table. Do your thievery. Can you tell us what an Uzif Eco is? I've overheard some Argonians referring to And then after you know that, you run right across the courtyard. I'm tired of that conversation. You hear it all the time. So if you run this route, you will get sick of that conversation. But you come into the Cyrodiilic Collections building. And this is a good one, too. You come right over here. Click trunk. Boom. Then you're going to run upstairs. Go right by the, the guy there. Come to this corner. Crouch. Now, somebody, this the sack is empty, but the backpack's good to go. And again, like I said, just take everything. So if you continue the circuit, you'll get hopefully better response. You come here, like I said, take everything. Ah, flour. Love getting flour because you use so much of it for which you know, especially for candles and anything in the provisioning crafting section. Nice, and you come to this, uh, all, a lot of these pots will open up like that. You got a cabinet here, bananas, desk, weed steel, then another cabinet. Now this is where it gets tricky because he will walk by and he can see you steal from here. And these two have been emptied out, but you can steal from them too when they're available. All right, so we, we're almost done with this circuit. You run straight across here. Oh, I always like to crouch down because I'm paranoid, even though I don't really need to. Gotta break into this house. Now there's a lady, there she is. She walks back and forth. So I like to hide until she gets into a good spot. Now she went in that back room. So what you can do while she's in there is you steal from the wardrobe. Still from this little cabinet. There is also another person in here. Right over there on that, that bed laying down. So you got to be careful too. Because he can see you if you're not very careful. Even though he's laying down and facing away. Now I like to take my time and be cautious. I really don't like paying bounties. And since you're trespassing in here, you'll get one. But she doesn't stay in that room long. She'll walk over there. Turn around. She'll go back and forth. But you can... Pickpocket her if you want. Or you can lay... Oh, man. And don't do that. Don't do that. If you're going to use the blade of woe, make sure you do it right. <laughs> Otherwise, you get a bounty. Crap. That's all right. You come in here and you get to the wardrobes. I always find it ironic that you steal lockpicks. All right. You get those and you come back around here. There's a little trunk here, but that's emptied out. We've already gotten those. That's been emptied out, too. So what I like to do is just go over here, jump on the table, and pickpocket this guy, which is pretty impressive, because, oh, man. He's laying down, and he's got a, a headboard between you and he. Oh, man. Bad timing. Oops. I'm not finishing up this video very well, am I? Alright, but you're getting the basic idea. What the heck? Oh man, my uh, controller is really not doing well. <laughs> Time to invest in a new one, because that B button is just not working. Oh, that, that's worth it. Then there's a trunk here. You get that. Empty it out if you're going to keep doing it around. The run. And then you just... Steal from this thing. And that is it for this run. When you fish it, you, you're right back at the way shrine. There's a guy out here. I usually leave him alone because you don't really get much off him. There's the way shrine where you started at. So let's take a quick look at all the stolen stuff. Recipe, no big deal. Rock pick. But look at that. Yellow, destroy. And again, 
if you're still leveling up your legerman and want to, you don't have to worry about the uh, what color the stolen item is. You just want to fence it. That'll bring it up. It doesn't matter. But if you've maxed it out, you're probably like me, and you're probably just destroying all the white uh, items because they don't they don't give you much for it. All right, so that one little run and. 250 gold for the blues, 100 gold for the, the greens. Didn't get any purple for 1,500, but that's still a pretty decent haul. And I got a rug, too. Didn't get any recipes for the Merkmeyer furnishings, and I'm a big furnishing guy. But that's, that's my run. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like this video and it helped you, please hit that like button. If you really like this video... Smash the subscribe button and hit that little bell notification so when I put more videos up, you will be the first to know. So I'm going to go and uh, pay off this bounty, fence this stuff, and make a little gold. And I will catch you all later. Thanks for watching. This has been Nastarish Gaming. I am Nastarish, and we will catch you all later.